so apparently our government has stooped so low that they are actually now going on a national tour to make to make kids brainwash kids into believing that RFIDs are okay to have implanted in them. Now, for those of you that don't know what RFIDs are, they are um, those uh, those identification chips that they put in. Usually, they put in prisoners to track them. That's how it originally started, which basically violated their constitutional rights. But we could get into that debate on what you know, you know, that they committed crimes and therefore their rights don't matter. But that you know, that's for another video, and I'm not going to get into that. But dude put these implant these in our children implant these in kids and basically say that it go around trying to brainwash them into saying that it's all right it is just it, it's plain fascist it is it's just plain wrong now these things basically monitor your every move they basically are gps tracking things i mean You've heard of the ankle bracelets. These are basically chips that basically will tell you where you are every moment of the day and the government can basically track you. And it's just absolutely wrong to be putting them in citizens that have, in law-abiding citizens, that have not even committed any crimes. Now, just to warn you where this is all coming from, um, and this is all becoming part of the... Um, operation feature, featuring a jovial animated mascot known as Chippy that is a character and it, they're using this as a, ca a character to demonstrate to the young audiences the benefits of having the RFID implanted under your skin. Chippy will be going to Bighorn, Wyoming. He will be there on the November 5th. Red Cloud, Nebraska, J November the 7th. Olympian Village, Missouri, November the 11th. Hopewell, Ili Illinois, November the 15th. Universal Indiana, November the 19th, Druid Hills, Kentucky, November the 21st, Hornbreak, Tennessee, November the 25th, Hickory Grove, South Carolina, November 26th, Enigma, Georgia, November 28th, and Golden Heights, Florida, November 9th, uh, 29th. If you live in these these area in these towns and cities, if you live or just in general are an American, you know, or not an American, and you're, and the government's basically trying to tell you that it's all right to have these implanted in your kids. Don't believe them. It's all a ploy for them to basically track your kids and track you and track, basically, you know, they're basically wanting to track everybody, and it's a very draconian tactic being used by the government to basically say that it's all right to do what they're doing. Patier. I love this water. And I got it for 99 cents at, at freaking grocery outlet. What do you know? Anyway, but my point is, is that RFIDs, I just don't believe in them. I don't believe in them. I personally think that RFIDs being implanted in the prisoners helps, but it's still wrong. I think it being implanted in our children and being implanted in in our own bodies is wrong and they're basically trying to do this by through flu shots and other means they're basically trying to stick these RFIDs under our skin the government recently launched this summer um, little mosquito drones that basically take a blood sample of us and implant us with an RFID chip the government is systematically trying to basically monitor our every moves you know and it's just it's just a very very fascist leaning attempt to basically undermine our whole you know basic necessity of being you know free to you know our freedom of of expression our freedom to be you know to not be um to be protected from, you know, unreasonable search and seizure. It's basically violating several constitutional amendments. Um, along with it, this whole campaign, um, uh, each child is going to leave this exhibition 
with a chippy stuffed doll, a coloring book, several information pamphlets for their parents to read that may basically assange the lingering fears to their children receiving the device. Again, if you're a parent to this, don't fall for the ploy. Do not fall for this. RFIDs are very draconian. Do your research and look into it very thoroughly before you even think about having your child implanted with an RFID. You know, just... I wouldn't do it to my child. I know that for certain. You know, I know my opinion probably doesn't matter to some people because, you know, you, you know, you know, for obvious reasons. But I would never do this to my child if I had a child because I don't b personally believe my child needs to be tracked every moment of the day. If my child goes missing, you know, that's one, you know, that's, I can see honestly the, maybe the benefits of that. But personally, I just don't believe in R that RFIDs serve any other purpose but to basically follow and track our every moves. And that's... It, 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 I don't really know how to basically go into detail about how it could be how it could be used for malicious intent. But there's a lot of ways it could be used. Because basically, they're going to be tracking us, you know, every minute of every day and... You know, if we say something that they suddenly don't like, they're going to come after us. They'll know exactly where we are. They're already doing it, though, already on our phones. So what's the point in having us have? What's the point in having a chip to put into us that is going to continue that? It's just another. It's just another ploy by the government to spy on us, much like they did with the NSA and everything else. It's the same bullshit so don't fall for it do not in implant your kids with the RFID chip um, so it, I'm gonna post the article from the national report um, so now keep in mind the national report kinda does talk you know a little briefly in their introduction about this myth from truth regarding the federal mandated Obamacare so they you know they go into that but for the most part I read the article and they are pretty much um, they're, they're pretty much a wrote it in a very decent form in a very pretty much independent and very journalistic form so read the short article do your own research on RFIDs and please um, and just please comment on it because I would actually like to un see what you guys, per how you guys personally are about this, about what your stance on RFIDs are. Obviously, you know what my stance is. I'm very anti RFID, but what are your opinions on it? Again, you can hit me up on YouTube, you can hit me up on Tumblr, or hit me up on Twitter. All of them are provided for you. So I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace.